everyone! It's very close to Christmas now and we're getting really excited. We thought we'd do a video today on a few things that we all do around Christmas time. Whether you admit it or not, I bet you, you will do some of these things. The first one being, buying presents for people because you have to. Now, this isn't your partner or your mum and dad because you're gonna wanna buy presents for I those guys. So. It's people like your neighbours. You buy presents for your neighbours? Yeah. Don't you? Is that a thing? Yeah, just like a little token gift. So you might get your neighbour a bottle of wine or something, or a tin of biscuits. I've never bought my neighbour a Christmas present. You're horrible. No, it's just weird. Should not get little little Annie next door, whatever her name is, a no. gift from you Who's to Annie? I. Annie and no one no, own. not from you to I, from I to you. Me to you. Let me know if you agree, because I bet we all have these people in our lives, and I've got a few, so <laughs> I'm not going to say... you don't want to buy someone a present, <laughs> don't buy them a present. I'm not going to say who it is. I think it's a two-way thing, though. Like, if someone buys you one, you feel inclined to get them one. Like, if someone buys you a present, you're like, oh, I wasn't going to get them something. Oh, I'd better go buy them something quick now. Okay, so this next one is something... George said he doesn't do it. It's not a particularly positive point, to be honest. So, it's Christmas! No, I know, it's just, I just don't like this. You've got to be happy. It's a family tradition, it's probably some of you guys do it as well, I've heard. We open our stockings, we've got all the main presents sat under the tree. So once we've opened our stockings, we have to eat breakfast before we're allowed to open our main presents. Oh, as now, a kid, that is torture. Now that's a real struggle. All you want for breakfast is chocolate, but my mum would be like, come on, have some toast or something. And I, you know when you have that like sort of butterfly feeling because you're really excited, like you're about to go on holiday or something. I sit there eating my toast and I can't eat it properly. I'm just sitting there wanting my chocolate and all my, all my main presents are sat there and it's literally torture and it's an absolute nightmare. Mum, if you're watching, can we cut that out this year? The next thing, Christmas cards. Pointless. Oh, I hate Christmas cards. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Yes. So pointless. So okay, not to be mean, we're gonna get literally no Christmas cards after saying no. this. If you only get someone a Christmas card, you may as well not bother because all you're saying yeah. is you're not good enough for a present. Yeah. I don't like you enough to get you a present, I mean, but here's a piece of paper with my name on it and your name on it. And a robin on the front. <laughs> yeah, they've okay. all got a robin. What baffles me about Christmas cards? you don't get them on Christmas Day, you get them like three weeks before. 5th of December, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> if it was your birthday on, my birthday's May 4th. February the 1st, happy birthday. Yeah, <laughs> and I was allowed to open it and I'd enjoy, so that'd weird. be good though. No it wouldn't, you spend nothing on a day. But yeah. then imagine if you woke up on Christmas morning and you had to open all the cards you got, you'd have like a stack of cards to open and that'd be rubbish. So you're saying that I don't have to get you a Christmas card? No. I don't? No, I don't have to get you one? This will backfire. You'll be so annoyed if I actually don't get you one. Yeah. So another struggle on Christmas Day. All the chocolate you eat between sort of when you wake up to about an hour before Christmas lunch and then Christmas lunch is served and it's like a mountain of turkey and all the veg, potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, sausage wrapped in bacon, my ultimate favourite. And you're just so full from all the chocolates and the drink and the crisps and the nuts and the snacks that you're just like, I can't eat it. And you finally wolf that down, and then, does anyone want some pudding? Yes, <laughs> but I can't! Guilty, guilty, guilty. I wake up at 7 a.m., stuff my face with Quality Street. Oh, no, no, them um, Cadbury's selection boxes, and you go through oh, every single yeah. bar in one go. Have you done, do you do that as well? Yes. And even like two hours after dinner, it's like, does anyone want any nibbles? And then you put a whole lot of the cold meats out. The way we've worked it is that we do a bit of the day at my house, a bit of the day at George's house, but the way that works, we actually have two teas as well as a roast. I was in the gym yesterday and they got a sign up on the wall that says the average person will eat 6,000 calories on Christmas day. One day. You're joking. Which is... I sure I can believe that. Three times more. But you're drinking like wine as well, aren't you, and Bailey's. It's all, it all adds up, doesn't it? That, that, this was just food. So it's probably 7,000, wait, 1,000 calories in alcohol. That's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> The last little thing we think you can probably relate to around Christmas time is making it last. Now, you don't really do this with birthdays, but Christmas, up until oh. New Year, <laughs> turkey sandwiches, turkey rolls, oh, turkey everything. And who leaves their Christmas tree up till like New Year, way past New Year? We do. Don't yeah, know why. We do. Like the 2nd of January is still there, standing in all its glory. And you wake up in the morning and you think, ah, what should I have today? Chocolate for breakfast. Yeah. Literally, like, until, as, as soon as it, until it runs out, basically, you're just eating chocolate. It's not just a day thing. No. It so goes on for further. And I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it so goes on for further. <laughs> You're left with so many boxes at the end of every Christmas. Biscuits unopened because everyone buys you stuff and you buy yeah. loads of stuff in. Christmas is great because there's such a great build up. 
Robbie. And then the peak of Christmas Day, you call him my dog. Robbie. Robbie, come here, boy. Oh, he's a bit moody tonight. He's camera shy. Anyway, Christmas Day comes to a complete high peak and then it sort of just fizzles out yeah. slowly. You can have too much turkey. Yes, and too much quality street. What's your favourite? I like the um, pink one, the fudge. Strawberry cream, every Thank time. Good. And fudge, did you say fudge? Yeah. I don't Aww. even listen to you, I'm really sorry. The purpose of this video, to be clear, was not to put anyone off Christmas. We <laughs> absolutely love fun. Christmas. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do Christmas, it's not very fun. <laughs> Go and watch our previous video where we went into town and bought me a Christmas jumper. I'm liking these Christmassy videos. Maybe we should do them all year. We've just done a video of how Christmas is dragged out <laughs> and now you're saying we have to do Christmas videos all year. <gasps> I like no. Christmas. Snowflake earrings. You showed them in the last video. No, I didn't. No, no, you cut me out. So oh, yeah. Me going. I edited it out. I was editing a video and I was playing it back to Lucy. And she said, you edited out my Christmas earrings. I better get time. a zoom in. Three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you all for watching today. We hope this has got you even more in the Christmas spirit. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. We're trying to get to our 200 subscribers before Christmas Day. We are so close. What, is to it 194? That. Yeah. No, 195. Really? I think so. And guys, we've launched a Facebook page. If we weren't bombarding you enough on our own Facebooks and Twitter at the Juicy Vlog and Instagram at the Juicy Vlog, we have launched a Facebook page. Facebook.com forward slash the Juicy Vlog. Or I think you can just search the Juicy, the Juicy Vlog. Vlog. Go on Google. I did this earlier. This is really cool. Put the Juicy Vlog in. The whole page is us. It's our Instagram, our Twitter, our videos. Nice which is really cool. I'm glad there's no other juicy vlogs. Imagine if we did all this and then like realised there was like another couple somewhere called that. And it's like Greg and Louise. Anyway guys, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you've got any more things that you do at Christmas that we've left out of this video. Oh, got a new feature. Have we? Mm. What's that? Comment of the week. Comment of the week. We can't rip off Harry Hill. Harry Hill yeah. We can't do that. If you comment on this video, our favourite comment will get a shout out in the next video. Thank you to you guys for sort of staying active, commenting on our stuff, giving us some support. But then you get a little shout out for your YouTube channel or for your name. I want to do a shout out now. Go Kelsey. On. Oh yeah, She Kelsey. comments on all our videos. Yes. She's a girl from America. Yeah. And she's great. Go and watch her videos. She gave me the inspiration to do my makeup tutorial, actually. So, yeah, thank you, Kelsey. Kelsey, you do some really great videos. Hopefully, we're going to send some people your way to check them out. Yeah. She'll hopefully comment on this video as well. Imagine this if will, she doesn't, yeah. that'd be really sad. This will probably be the one that she doesn't <laughs> see when she gets a shout out. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Like our Facebook page, get us on Instagram and Twitter. We will see you soon. Jingle bye, jingle bye. Oh. It's looking like reindeer, so we've got to go.